here with part two of INTJ. Um, this will be the strengths and weaknesses. INTJ A. This is from 16personalities.com. Um, let's see. Let's begin. INTJ strengths. Rational People with the INTJ personality type architects pride themselves on the power of their mind. They can reframe nearly any challenge as an opportunity to hone their rational thinking skills and expand their knowledge. And with this mindset, they can devise in in inventive solutions to even the most arduous of problems. Informed. Few personality types are as devoted as the INTJs to developing rational, correct, and evidence-based opinions. Rather than hunches or half-baked assumptions, they base their conclusions on research and analysis. This gives them the convic conviction that they need to stand up for, for their ideas, even in the face of disagreement. Mm, I agree. But I also like being wrong and being proven wrong. That way I could learn more. So it's kind of a bit of both. I'm not very dogmatic. I'm not very, my opinions are real. They're true. Uh, so I don't really agree with that. Independent. For people with this personality type, conformity is more or less synonymous with mediocrity. Creative and self-motivated INTJs strive to do things their own way. They can imagine few things more frustrating than allowing, allowing arbitrary rules or conversations to stand in the way of their success. Moreover, they are happy to make decisions without outside input or opinions. These individuals prefer to make to take matters into their own hands. Determined. This personality type is known for being ambitious and goal-oriented. INTJs won't rest until they've achieved their own definition of success, which usually entails mastering the subjects and pursuits that matter to them. They are not known for taking the wheezy, wheezy, the easy way out. They feel that the only way to achieve greatness is to face challenges head on. I agree. I hate when people want things handed to them. Curious. INTJs are open to new ideas. As long as those ideas are rational and evidence-based, that is, skeptical by nature, people with this personality type are especially drawn to offbeat or contrari contrarian points of view. And if the facts prove them wrong, these types are generally happy to revise their opinions. Original. Without INTJs, the world would be far less interesting place this personality type's rebellious streak is, re is responsible for some of history's more most unconventional ideas and inventions even in their everyday everyday lives these personalities force the people around them to consider new and sometimes surprising way of looking at things that's true i love giving perspective intj weaknesses arrogant I'm not gonna like this section. Arrogant. INTJs might be knowledgeable, but they're not infallible. Their self-assurance can blind them to useful input from other people, especially anyone they deem to be intellectually inferior. These personalities can also come across as needlessly harsh or single-minded in trying to prove others wrong. Wrong! I see value in everybody's point of view. I like putting myself in uh, different shoes, walks of life. I like pe hearing people's story. I don't care if they're not considered smart. I want to hear what they have to say. I want to hear how their mind works. So I don't agree with that. Dismissive of emotions. For this type, rationality is king. But emotional context often matters more than people with this personality type care to admit. INTJs can get impatient with anyone who seems to value feelings more than facts, I agree. Unfortunately, ignoring emotion is its own type of bias, one that can cloud its per it, this personality type's judgment. I agree, I'm very much 
about let's get to the point. I don't like getting emotional. There's no point in crying. There's no point in letting your mo like let's do go to the solution right now. Let's talk through it instead of wasting time and being emotional. So I agree with that. It's not insensitive though, it's just my way of being logical, like what's the point of all this? Let's just get to the solution already. This okay. Overly critical. These personalities tend to have a great deal of self-control, particularly when it comes to thoughts and feelings. When the people in their life fail lives fail to match their levels of restraint, INTJs can appear scathingly critical. But this criticism can be unfair based on arbitrary standards rather than a full understanding of human nature. Mm. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm that critical, but I do find that if there are people who um, don't match my level of restraint, it's really hard for me to understand them, but I also try to keep in mind that they don't understand me as well. Like, if you don't understand someone, it's possible, probably, like, very possible that they don't understand you as well. It's good to keep that in mind. Combative. People with this personality type hate blindly following anything without understanding why. <gasps> True! This includes restrictions and the authority figures who impose them. INTJs can get caught up in arguing about useless rules and regulations, but sometimes these battles are distractions from more important matter matters. Mm. Every time someone hates someone, like on the internet, oh, I hate Joey King, she's so ugly. Oh my God, I love Beyonce, she is the queen. First of all, I'd be like, Joey King is beautiful. She's a great actress. What do you do, you know? You're just saying that because everyone else is saying that. I hate when people do that. Uh, Beyonce, um, she's the queen. Anyone talks bad about her, you will be crucified. I think it's just a regular pop person. Nothing really to, like, whoa. You know what I mean? Like it's, I'm not. She's she's a good artist and everything, but just because everyone defends her, I, I don't know. I just don't like agreeing with things. I don't really that everybody else agrees with for no reason. So I kind of agree with that. Socially clueless INTJ's relentless rationality can lead to frustration in their social lives. Their efforts to defy expectations may leave them feeling isolated or disconnected from other people. At times, these personalities may become cynical about the value of relationships altogether, questioning the importance of love and connection. <sighs> oh, I agree. I'm kind of going through this right now. I just see no point in friendships. Not friendships, I do have friends, which I value very much and I think they are awesome and I value them. I, I, I'm saying making new friends, making, having relationships, all this stuff is just, I just see no point in it sometimes. Um, I feel like society is too focused on relationships, especially marriage, kids. I just, there's more important things in life. And if it does happen, then so be it, but let it happen naturally. Um, I do feel uh, disconnected from most people because I feel like we don't understand each other and it's really hard to have conversations with a lot of people. Um, yeah, I'm very cynical about relationships and I do question the importance of love and connection, especially seeing divorce rates and um, just everything that I've seen firsthand and just every marriage I see is quite not fun I like why would I want to put myself in that but then my mom has to keep telling me not everybody's like that that doesn't happen to everybody but then you look at the statistics you look at the data and you're kind of 
question, a question. But that is all for strengths and weaknesses. Um, this thing has helped me know that I'm not crazy. I don't feel too alone in this world anymore. Uh, there's someone out there like me. There's many people who have INTJ8. So yeah, that's strengths and weaknesses. Thank you for watching. Arigatou gozaimasu. Bye.